Welcome back to Engine's Place and I have something dark and sinister here and this is actually um, an art collection or portfolio I guess that's the correct term so it's a portfolio of Gabriel Del Otto entitled Gotham Crime so it looks very amazing uh, I really like this one I'm actually a big fan of Batman and the Rose Gallery as you notice I also have the Rose Gallery art print by Sideshow this one is no different. This is pretty amazing. I'm a Gabe Otto um, fan. I have a lot of pieces with him. Uh, I'm even also giving or showcasing you guys some of the art pieces that I have from Gabe Del Otto in this video. So there will be two art pieces or art collection that I will be showcasing. Is this one, the Gotham Crimes, and some other Gabe Otto pieces that I have not yet shown in my channel. So. Um, I do wish that all of you can still get this one. I got this from Bulletproof Comics. I would normally get some of the art pieces there, especially from Gabriel Del Otto. And when I finally saw that it's already available, I got it right away. It's 350 USD. It's uh, signed pieces uh, that's really signed by Gabriel Del Otto. I'm not sure if it's... I know it's limited, but it does not... I don't think it has any numbers though. But nonetheless, still an amazing piece. So keep watching. If you like the video, click the thumbs up and help me share with everyone. And if you like weekly pop culture videos, reviews, showcase, uh, phot photo galleries, uh, or, or photo slideshows, subscribe to my channel, The Ancient Place. So let's try uh, to start with first is the cover. So it actually is in um, like like say like, like a book or a cover for the portfolio, and this is actually uh, the Joker. So this is not the actual print uh, for the Joker. You will see later, uh, but this is the Joker itself. But the entire print is not. There's some backgrounds there, and the back here says Gotham Crimes. So this is basically the title of the the portfolio. So if you when you open it up, you basically see the uh, it has a very hard or very nice cover, very good feel as well. And inside actually contains ten art prints. So let's go through one by one. So what one of the things that I'm a bit picky regarding this one is that um, it's black, and if you know it's black, it actually is a fingerprint magnet so that's why I'm a bit really careful not to uh, have too many fingerprints um, as you can see here the first one is Killer Croc so I hope you can see this one he looks absolutely good actually this is one of my favorites and I hope you can see that one look at that he looks absolutely good beautifully done by Gabriel Del Otto um, I like how he did the scales and everything and also the, the, the in between the scales that one is actually looks good you can see the separation of different colors I'd like the spikes I'd like somehow like it's in the shadows and, and everything absolutely good I like the white colors the, the, the highlights looks absolutely good and he looks very menacing as well so the next one is um, the very beautiful um, Poison Ivy, look at her, she is gorgeous, very scary in this photo, look at that, absolutely good. I like it because it, the, the color, the highlights of their hair is actually pretty good, um, look at that one, and she is somehow in the shadows uh, covered by her hair, and also the, 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 the different flowers. This one also looks really good. So um, I just wish that there's a bit more, you know, that, that there's some highlights also, or at least some other parts of her face can also be seen. Here she looks very scary to be honest, uh, but still how it's done, it's beautifully good. Like I, like I said, the hair looks amazing in this one. And the green and the orange tones 
looks absolutely con contrasting and that makes it very amazing um, the next one is the Riddler the brilliant Riddler look at that he looks amazing um, this is actually one of my favorites he the the pose is actually the composition is actually pretty good again I like the greens uh, it's beautifully done the highlights as well it lo looks absolutely good and I also love the expression in his face look at that I hope you can see that one a bit closer his expression is absolutely good you can see the wrinkles in his face and especially the eyes I think it's the eyes who who made the, this expression really like uh, you, you really can feel that because of the eyes you see it looks absolutely good the colors again is absolutely amazing the cane is beautifully has a really amazing composition it really how would say fills the frame again amazing stuff by Gabe Del Otto another one another scary dude to be honest is the penguin look at that this guy is very scary as you can see but he looks amazing uh, the tones here is a bit different most of which earlier has really like those green tones this is more like those like cold kind of tone um, it has a purple blue and more more of which is like gray or white look at that one um, he is very menacing very sinister to be honest uh, but still it looks amazing it somehow depicts properly or nicely from the penguin persona or how penguin like smirks or smiles <laughs> that's actually good my next one which is to be honest is my favorite um, of the bunch is actually Bane so Bane is actually pretty good I love this Bane look at that I wish I could have more Bane um, artwork like this one because it's absolutely good he has so much detail he has very great tones amazing composition look at that one it filled the frame look at that and I really like those tubes like popping out there and it somehow get, gets messy the the highlights the 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 undertones here the very dark area here which is actually surrounded by some of the highlights that is actually very good for me I like that one and you can see here the very uh, one of the classic looks of Bane as well and again the color tones the green it really depicts Bane uh, as a character as well look at that he looks amazing so Bane uh, again this is actually one of my favorites no that is actually my favorite the next one is Miss Harley Quinn so look at that another somehow like a, a cold tone uh, for the colors itself and I also like the composition of this one this is I would say one of the uh, let's say best compositions of the bunch because it fills the frame um, it, it shows her her weapon it shows her expression as you can see look at that looks amazing and I I like this tone better compared to the penguin because I always like the the red colors and the blue and this is also I I'm not sure I think I, I just I just realized that there's actually somehow like blood in his hammer this is actually really good um, I like this one as well so this is Harley Quinn amazing stuff another amazing stuff so the next one is the Prince of crime of craziness in Gotham the Joker look at that he looks amazing he if you look at this guy he he just depicts evil um, in here again I think this uh, black um, portfolio from Gabe Otto it shows how menacing these characters are and from this one you can really see Joker like really scary really menacing uh, he has his knife his grin is very scary to be honest um, and his face his face is that like menacing crime lord or crazy crime lord to be honest and it looks absolutely good 
um, I like the details I love the color for this one it's very Joker it's a very menacing Joker great job indeed by Gabriel Del Otto um, the next one is also one of my favorite because of the composition um, is this guy it actually looks good I really like how the it depicts also the character um, how Two-Face Harvey Dent is giving you somehow like a like an offer like, like doing like that one and with the coin uh, and I also do like that it has at some parts or most of the parts having a very good um, how would say a very good how do you call that uh, a very or a very human uh, feel um, if you have it like that one if you look at it like that he has a very bad feel, a very good feel of a human, but there is something underneath those, how would I say, uh, um, this human cover, and it's actually that very scary grinning face at the back, and just with the lit of the of the highlights, it actually is pretty good, amazing stuff. Again, this is one of my favorites. Really good composition. Uh, the lighting in it, it's absolutely very realistic and very sinister as well. Um, for the next one, I guess this is the second to the last one, is Scarecrow. So, look at that. Um, this is actually, to be honest, um, might be the one of the least favorite for me. Um, it, it's just, I really wish that the, um, his face is more depicted. It more on, uh, how I would say, showcases more on his arms and everything. I really wish that the, the face was a bit more um, shown here because I really want the details in his in his mask to be honest. Uh, but nonetheless, it actually has a good pose. I like it in the, in the, in the pose perspective because you can see his his weapon, how he he's menacingly like like inviting you as well, um, like trying to scare you as a uh, as a scarecrow. But I do wish that uh, it shows his face more making the the, the scare scarecrow a bit more scary so at least it uh, his name uh, um let's say depicts him as well so but nonetheless another amazing stuff by gabriel del Otto for this scarecrow and the last but not the least is miss selena kyle so this is actually a um, an older or a classic or more classic version of the Catwoman. So you can see there the how would say the the purple um, pur purple costume. And in here again, the 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 theme of this uh, portfolio is more scarier. So they made this Catwoman very scary. Her claws is actually pretty uh, sharp. He has uh, she has her whip really beautifully done. And I also like how the, the whip like goes through her back and everything. That is actually really good. Again, very great, um, I would say, very good composition here. Um, taking advantage of the lighting and also the shadows. Uh, really amazing stuff. So this is Catwoman, Selena Kyle from Gabriel Del Otto.
So as promised, uh, I have here another Gabe Auto pieces. Uh, I think some of which you already seen uh, them from my how would say uh, collect art collection video. Um, I just want to showcase them more close ups now. So they're also from Gabriel Delotto from I got them from Bulletproof Comics. Again, they're absolutely gorgeous, amazing pieces. So um, first off, which is the, the ones that I've already shown is this one. This is actually a um, Gabriel Del Otto, this is Catwoman versus um, Poison, I, I, sorry, uh, Bat, Batgirl versus Poison Ivy. This is absolutely really good. I, I really like the composition in this one. I love that how, how colorful it is. Um, really great stuff. I love this. Um, I, I think I was torn between this one and Doctor Strange and I got this one. This looks absolutely good. The next one which is my favorite character of all comics. This is uh, Silver Surfer. Look at that. I just love this art piece. I think this is from a... I'm not sure maybe the Annihilation Conquest or something. Um, maybe um, I'm not really sure but again the, uh, another amazing piece this is a silver surfer you can see how beautiful he's gliding um, to the cosmos um, how Gabe Otto somehow um, made the highlights of his body the, the musculature it looks really good the composition it looks really good and it looks really like silver and that's what I'm, I'm so amazed about this piece so Another one which is actually quite big. It's a, a big art piece and this is actually my favorite as well. And this is the cover of um, Spider-Man 800. Look at that. Amazing. So this is actually a pretty good art piece. Uh, I think I'm planning to put this in a frame because it's really just that good. I like the color. I love the composition of this one. It's another different angle by Spider-Man. Um, basically I love the red I always love red and in here you can see how spider-man is crawling into a column looks absolutely good so again this is a cover of if I'm correct spider-man 800 and again amazing stuff by Gabe Del Otto one last look for this one look at that I hope you can see it clearly amazing stuff um, I just can't uh, uh, let's say contain myself to put this in, in a frame so I'm planning to how would say uh, put all my um, some of my game the the Gotham crimes also in a frame and I think I'll be including this one as well so the one of the latest that I got together with Gotham crimes is those black how would say um, pieces from Gabe Del Otto and one of which is this one I really wish there is a bigger version of this because I love this Doom. Um, it looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, I really wish uh, there is some bigger versions of this, a larger version. I really wish like around 20 plus inches, um, that kind of big. Or maybe there's a, how would say, a canvas version. That would be very amazing. I really wish there's something like that one. So this is Dr. Doom. Look at the details. Look at the composition, look at the color. That actually, you get from afar, you can already see what is the subject of this one and what is being emphasized. And it absolutely looks great. Amazing stuff. And again, since I'm a Silver Surfer fan, I got this one as well. Look at that. Amazing stuff. I love this Silver Surfer. And I also wish there's a bigger version of this one. I really wish there is a canvas of this one as well. That one I will definitely buy. I already have one Silver Surfer canvas and it's already framed. And I really love that one. And I do wish there's another one, which is also this one or the basically the other one. So maybe I can just show you. These are actually of the same size, uh, but the other one is in white paper and the other one is in the black paper. So look at this one. Look at that. Amazing stuff. Look how amazing is that. <laughs> um, if only the 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 this one this one has a full and no no border. The, I mean this one I would frame this two all together. 
um, but I think I, I have to think about that one but nonetheless this looks absolutely good I really love this art pieces so uh, those are my uh, latest um, Gabriel Del Otto art pieces artworks portfolios um, some of which most of which I will be having a uh, will place them in a, in a canvas some I don't know in a, in, a, in a frame some will be um, just in the in the portfolio that I have but definitely the Gotham crimes will be in a frame which I will be basically show you guys when it's uh, when it arrives um, I will be having it framed next week hopefully within that week as well or within next week or Friday or maybe next week I get it right away and I'm so excited to show you guys that one and how it would turn out so thank you for watching I hope you did enjoy I hope you can still get some of this art prints I think they're still available a lot of let's say galleries online you can, I think you can still find them I think Kirby's there's one there's also bulletproof comics I'm not sure others I'm not sure heroic art gallery has them or maybe the choice art gallery or art group has them uh, but nonetheless try to contact this guys if you are a big Marvel fan DC fan any kind of fan which likes artworks and art prints and limited edition uh, masterpieces so thank you for watching everyone I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for more videos from Inchin's Place